Good morning, folks, starting with shots from our friends over at the Lightroom. This video of the supermoon rising is linked for you below, uploaded to Vimeo. They even caught an airplane crossing the field of view. Meanwhile, the morning show today is Jupiter and Venus rising before sunrise. This show continues for a few days as they will conjoin early next week. Definitely check it out. Not much in the way of big quakes yesterday couple of interest right there in a line, but more importantly, Mount Etna continued living up to its title as the most active volcano in Europe. Webcam Etna, you can just google that by the way, shows thermals, lava flows, smoke, and a very active crater. Volcanic activity persisting south of Japan as well. Also on RSOE, a New York nuclear station powering 1 million homes had an automatic shutdown due to a faulty sensor. They claim all is well now. Meanwhile, a boat was disabled near Boston after a giant wave impact. Interesting stories there on the alert map. Julio, north of Hawaii, has had about enough of the westward trek. Going to cock back, shoot north, likely along the convergence line there already. Meanwhile, Karina was named in the Eastern Pacific, a successful Uyen candidate from the Corona Hole Stream and Limb Eruption, but which isn't likely to be a concern for anyone. Using the wind overlay, we can spot two convergences relevant for Australia, none for New Zealand. Precipitable water overlay appears to confirm. Should be a lighter day in Europe, finally, not that all areas are out of the woods just yet, especially here cloud overlay helps. The story is simple across the pond, high pressure cell in the east clearing a path there but the northern flow up to the northwest and northern midwest states along with parts of Canada will watch that heat and moisture turn to a flash flood tonight. Yellow line here is the solar wind speed, dropping throughout the day along with all geomagnetic instability. We're all calm at earth. Solar flaring, disappointing as it comes as we're all calm at the sun as well. Sunspots are decayed or small or magnetically separated. A high sunspot count does the flaring no good without the proper construction. Beta complexity isn't going to cut it. Looking at the inner solar system here. Now we already know that Jupiter and Venus will conjoin soon from Earth's perspective but we're going to focus on the planet positioning inside here. Mars and Earth on one side, while Venus and Mercury on the other. This is why the innermost planets are magnetically connected to the Sun on the back side from our view, denoted by the dotted lines, while Earth and Mars connect to the Earth-facing side. Why the magnetic portals keep sticking together like that is a very good question. Coronal hole down south, the dark patch, is exiting now. No more on the disk, but the thin dark rope just north and trailing behind it is a plasma filament in our top eruption watch today. Let's get some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.